Hey everybody, this is Dave from Growing the Home Garden. I am out here at our property right now where you know, I've let it go way too long as far as the, uh, the grass height goes. Last time I was out here, my mower belt broke and so I needed to go and replace that. I got stuck halfway through and we've had a ton of rain and so now you can see this. I mean, it is just really tall grass. So, you know, nothing you can do other than just kind of plug away at it. I probably could hire a bush hogger guy to come out here, but I hate hiring out for somebody to do something like this. Um, but, you know, it might be worth doing. Um, actually got the truck stuck on the way up the hill because the grass was too wet, too long. So then I got the mower stuck in a ditch and had to pull it out. So it's just been one of those days so far. But love being out here, love doing some things, and I hope to go back and take a look and see if the pawpaw trees are started, if they've got any ripe fruit on them yet, or, or what. The persimmons are green. Uh, those will probably take another month to six weeks or so before they'll be ready, and you never know. Those are hit or miss. Uh, usually I miss, I eat them, and uh, they are awful, and yeah, they're not ripe. So you got to watch out what you're doing. So my goal for today is just basically to get the land area cleared around where we're going to build the house one day and uh, get the pathways around the property so we can walk around and do what we want to do out here. So that's the plan for now. I'll uh, come back in a minute with some more. Hey everybody, I'm back again. Um, finished what I can do on the mowing. Not because I ran out of energy or time, but my belt fell off. So I'm going to have to go back and fix that. I didn't bring the right tools over here uh, to take care of that. So that's out. But I'm going to go ahead and walk around the land a little bit and show you a few things if you don't care. Of course, you're still watching, right? Anyway, but over here, when I was mowing, there's a uh, passion flower. And what's cool about the passion flower is that it is a host for the fritillary caterpillar, which turns into the fritillary butterflies. I'm going to show you some of those. If you can see him right there. So that is the fritillary butterfly caterpillar. And it was this plant right here, which is the passion flower. That's what passion flower looks like. So I've seen quite a few of those fritillary butterflies around. I've also seen monarchs, swallowtails, um, a sulfur. There's all kinds of butterflies. And when you leave something to go natural for a while, it's amazing what kind of nature actually comes. So I'm going to take you back here, and we're going to take a look at the pawpaw trees that we've got. We're going to see if we have any fruit. So this is the little wooded area that we've got a pathway cut through. I guess we're nicknaming it the pawpaw path for right now, because that's where it takes us, right back over here to the pawpaw trees. And I've got it marked with just a stone, because I actually have to step off the path to get to where those trees are. Right in here. These two are pawpaw trees. In the past, when I shook the trees, if there was anything up there that was ripe, it would fall off. And uh, there's one right there. It doesn't look like it's ripe yet. Let me zoom in here. Yeah, there's the pawpaw. So, and they taste kind of like a mango, or a, I thought it tasted very much like a pineapple. And up over here is a cluster of a few. Looks like one's kind of rotten. I'm going to shake the tree and see what happens. And not ready yet. Those are pretty high up. I mean, that's a good 
12 feet up for me, so I can't reach those easily. Uh, these are pretty good sized trees. There's some others back in the woods there. Let's see if we can find them. There's another pawpaw tree, but no fruit on it. It's much younger. So, looks like we'll just get a few pawpaws, and, uh, but that's cool. Because we've never had them before. Well, before last year. They're pretty neat. Here's something new. Apparently we had a large tree fall down. This wasn't here before because there used to be a pawpaw tree right here. In fact, it's still there. It's just pretty bent over. I'm going to have to come back here with some tools and try to try to fix it back up again. And that was a little bit of a trail that we had, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. Maybe I have to cut that tree out. Save that for another day, though. And one of the things I like to do is to preserve as much as I can for nature and the natural creatures out here. Uh, particularly the milkweed here for the monarch butterflies. And I've seen a few floating around today. Not a whole lot, but there might be more coming. And if, by leaving this up, the larvae can have something that they can eat. And then eventually turn into the chrysalis and then hatch and fly away. And begin the next leg of the migration. So it's also good to leave some pollinating type flowers out like that thistle way over there. It's not fun to step on, but a lot of butterflies like to eat the nectar from the thistle. When I was a kid growing up, um, I had a friend whose dad was a naturalist and they had nine acres of land, maybe 11 acres, I don't remember exactly, but they had pathways cut through them. And I just thought it was so fun to just run around at, at his house and we'd play all kinds of chase games and things like that in the, in the pathway. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. You can see there's pathways cut in. I mostly want to be able to get around everywhere, not have any trouble finding anything property corners and things like that but you know when we out here get out here finally when we build the house it's going to be one of those situations where we don't necessarily want to take care of all the property and so some of it we're going to leave growing natural and we'll probably do some pathways and fun stuff with that like that There goes one of the monarch butterflies now, just flitting about. Over here around the persimmon tree, there's mist flower. So I'm letting that grow so that pollinators can enjoy it. And I just mentioned the persimmon tree. But these are great trees if you love attracting deer. If you followed me for any length of time, you probably know I'm not a big fan of deer. But, if you're a hunter, having a stand of persimmon somewhere is great, because deer love it. I've got all kinds of seedlings all over the property from persimmon trees that deer have planted for me. See these? They're not even close to ripe. They need to be really soft and orange and practically falling off the tree. I had one last year that was just delicious. And then I thought, well, surely if that one's ripe, another one will be. So then I tried another one. That left my mouth feeling like it was all dry and what uh, it was it was not a fun feeling. So be careful with persimmons. 
the native ones, when you eat them, make sure that they're ripe. So here's the view our house will have eventually. There's another hillside across the way. The stakes are just kind of generally stuck at ends where we thought the house parts and sections of it would be. A couple of them are covered up with weeds and stuff. Not too worried about that. We're going to reset those because we've changed the design of the plan a couple times now. Among other wildlife I've seen just today, praying mantis, that was pretty cool. Um, a giant rat, that was not as cool. Rabbits are everywhere. There's rabbit trails all over the place. Oh, now that I remember, there was a turkey feather. I was gonna pick that up and bring it home to the kids. I passed by it while on the mower. See if I remember where it was. There we go. That's a turkey feather. I've seen about five turkeys on the property. None lately, and none today. Oh yeah, the other thing. Got a lot of fire ants around. That's a mound. Looks like that one's an old one. But I've kicked out quite a few fire ants around here, so you gotta be careful where you walk. I do love seeing the tall grass. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this brief little tour of the property, and I may try doing this a few more times. On the more of a blog session than a blog or a how-to video just to kind of show you some things here and there and if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section if you'd like to subscribe please do that I'd love to have you subscribe to the page and the YouTube channel so anyway this is Dave with growing the home garden thanks for watching have a good day